I have seen the dome maker before, but I have never seen this little setup right here. So you don't have to bend down and as make far. it. Yeah, as far. Uh, yes. As far. But that's genius. I love it. And it's just a curtain rod, right? Yep. Right. And it's just right onto. And then come on, focus. Right onto the axle. That's genius. I love it. As I said on my vlog yesterday, I did a horrible job vlogging yesterday. I didn't introduce anybody and do anything. So today I'm gonna to do a better job. So everyone, this is August. She is a light painter and she is the one that set up everything here at Duke University. So thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Yes, thank you for having us. It's very exciting. John, a light painter and a dome making master, which he will make you one. He already said it. You better watch yourself because you might, <laughs> you might get some orders. <laughs> exactly. But this thing is cool and uh, I just wanted to share that little part right there. So we're going to start taking stuff over for the big presentation tonight. And the rest of the light painters will get here. And then the show goes on. Magic happens. Woohoo! Look at that guy. Give me a hug. How you doing? And Laura was arriving in the parking garage about 4.30. Okay. So you may see her. Maybe I'll meet her too. I'll drag as many people over. All right, this is uh, called the Hyperspace Hypercube. It is designed by Hyperspace Lighting. It is basically six two-way mirrors with LEDs in the middle, and they run on a program. And uh, what I've been using them for is taking a jar opener, setting it in the center, and then using this jar opener as negative space to shoot inside a round tunnel with bicycle tires. So as you can see, even adding an extra filter on it can make it multiply even more. Mm -hmm. And then you'll show me some of the images you've created using? Yes, the hypercube. Insert right now. These things are nuts. And so you don't have to shoot straight down. You can shoot at an angle. You can shoot oh, yeah. this way. Oh, wow. Um, you can yeah. shoot this way. I've actually done... Holy cow. Yeah, I like that from, like from right here. It's like... Oh, it looks like an infinity city. That is wild. We are here. We are setting up in this giant auditorium. It's going to be filled with people. <laughs> and we will be giving our light painting presentation. It is over. Woohoo! How do you think we did? 
I think we did awesome. I saw happy people and that's what it's all about. So much fun. I think it went really well. Lots of people, lots of questions. Um, and I think people really getting into it and playing with the lights as well. No, it went absolutely great. We had a great turnout. Um, it was a lot of fun with everybody that participated. And yeah, I'm ready to do it again. Hopefully they'll have us back for round two. I think we did very good. We had a lot of oohs, a lot of clapping. I think we did pretty well. Absolutely phenomenal. Fantastic. What, what do you oh. think? I think all my dreams came true tonight. <laughs> for real. How, how do you think we did? I think we did fantastic. I couldn't ask for better. All I hope right. we keep doing it. Back in the hotel room now. We got rained out from our evening of light painting. It is currently a little after one in the morning. We were gonna stay out and shoot some other stuff, but again, big rainstorm came through, so we had to come back. Tonight, or today, this evening, I think we did a really good job. I'm really happy with the way it went. I think the people there were really happy, excited, and I think they learned a lot. For the very short amount of time we had, we only had two hours to give a light painting presentation and then light paint with everyone. We also had every different brand of camera that you can imagine. Half the people had tripods, half didn't. People had intervalometers. Some people didn't have any kind of remote triggers. I would say at least half the people were shooting on their cell phones, which is why August made these super cool cell phone holders. This was a great idea. It really helped out to uh, allow more people to participate in light painting. I think some of the coolest images came out of the phone light paintings. Tomorrow we're gonna explore Duke University. Uh, gotta check out this hotel tomorrow. I'm not sure where I'm gonna stay tomorrow night, but I do think we're gonna stay around here one more night, do some light painting tomorrow night before I head back home. Again, one more time, thank you to everyone that participated. Thank you for everyone that came out. Thank you for all the new people and friends that I met, all the new Instagram followers I got today, and um, just all the good words, all the kindness. Light brings people together. It's a beautiful thing, light painting. There's no boundaries with light painting. There's no borders, there's no nothing. Light welcomes everyone. It's a beautiful thing. We need more of it in the world. And I'm so happy that I can be a part of this event and I hope to be a part of many, many more. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you like the video, please do thumbs up down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, put it down in the comments section below. And until the next video, get out there and get creative.